All right, so I was asked on Facebook how you can create this, uh, you know, where the letters are inside the mouth of the pumpkin. And it, it is very, fairly easy, and I'm going to show you how you can recreate it. Now, you will have to spend a little more time as far as tweaking the letters, but it should be fairly easy. So uh, she did ask for this to be done in shortcuts a lot, too. And you can do the same thing in shortcuts a lot four as well. But anyways, you have the half moon shape. That's the mouth, anyway. And just going to resize this, hold the shift button down uh, up here at the, the little rotating handle. I can hold the shift button down uh, while I'm rotating, and it will help me with snapping to make sure that it is right side up. All right, so uh, once we have that, the next step is the text. And for that, you just go to the text tool, add some text. I'm just going to use uh, all caps here, real spell happy. And... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch this out. I'm going to move the text over to uh, this half moon shape. And all right, so that looks fine. So now I need to ungroup the text because I need to stretch the A, the P, and the P in order to fit. So uh, I'm just going to go up here to Object Ungroup. Once I do that, now I can select each, in, each letter individually. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and stretch, stretch it out. I am probably going to have to stretch this H out so that it uh, it does touch the half moon shape. And once we finish up with all the letters, we will have to sort of group them all together because we're going to be doing... Uh, oh, we're going to be going up here to path and we're, we're going to do some tweaking with this. So first uh, we need to select all the letters uh, so we can put those all on the same type of plane or same type of la layer anyway. And to do that, I selected all the layers. I held the shift button down while I clicked, and I went to Path Union. Now, this will make it one, one solid unit. And in order to do these type of operations, you need to have two objects selected. So the first object that we're going to select is the happy. And the I'm going to hold the shift button down. I'm going to select that half moon shape, and I selected that. So all right, so once we have those two uh, layers selected, uh, now it's time to go up here. Now, as you can see, we do have uh, those options available to us. So I'm going to go ahead and use the back minus the front, and you'll see that's what it will give us. And that's exactly what we had on that photo, which was the... Uh, the outline here of black, and that's what this would be. You know, you can change the color if you wish here to uh, black, just so it's a little more IP eye appealing to you. But that's how you basically do uh, do that. Hopefully that video helped you.